Okay, um, as I said before, I wanted to come out and function test my spare beta mag. Um, so here you can see it's a 100 round dual, dual scroll. Um, it, this is my spare because two is one and one is none. Um, and my rifle, my AR, it's a Bushmaster 16 inch barrel, has a gas piston upper, uh, so it's a little cleaner. Um, the, the Ace Socom 2 stock. And I chose this stock because one of the issues with a collapsible stock on an AR is that you have your buffer piston in here, and a lot of people throw a collapsible stock on, but if you get any kind of impact on that stock and put a dent in it or get it off center and damage it, you could keep your recoil buffer from operating correctly and your rifle's going to be done. So I spent a little more and got the Ace Socom 2, which is called their breaching stock. So it's supposed to stand up to it, put putting the butt of the gun in the door. So I have no worries about damaging my um, buffer piston in the field. And I have my 8 point off my M1A, um, as you saw in the M1A video. So. And just to let you know, it takes surprisingly long to fire 100 rounds. It actually gets kind of boring just shooting 100 rounds straight through. But like I said, I want to test this mag, so we'll see how many of these 100 I can put on the paper. I was shooting fairly rapid fire, but I was trying to at least keep it close to the target, but that red dot was bouncing all around at the rate of fire I was shooting. So we'll see how I did. So I was shooting the bottom left target, and you can see there's quite a few holes in there. Like I said, you saw my rate of fire. Um, that's one actual advantage the beta mag has. You know, it gives you a little more weight to your rifle and tames recoil a little bit. So that's not too bad. Um, just just leaning lean, lean on the bench at 50 yards. So that was a beta mag, and it works. So I'm happy. <laughs> 